Hi and welcome. In the last video we looked at how to save out our project. In this video I want to have a look at making a custom front and back page cover. So let's dig in. My name's Ken Fisher and this is Live Link Training. OK, now let's turn our attention to the front and back covers. Now let's click on this icon here just to make sure that we've got the, the full page spread at full screen so we can see them. Now we've got two images here, one of the front and one of the back. And it's not particularly enthusing me and I've got this big white strip down the middle which I could fill in, I could put a background colour in. Um, but I'd like to try something a bit different. So what I'm going to do is, is get rid of this background picture. So I'm going to click on it and then hit the backspace key on, on the PC or the delete key on the Mac and it's gone. And now what I'm going to do is, is choose another spread. So I'm going to click back on the front cover and then I'm going to go and select, uh, you can select specific spreads for front and the back pages. So I'm going to go here to my page panel and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to select, which is a favourite of mine, which is this one here, which is a double page spread and it spreads out the image over the two pages. So I can just move it around a little bit. I'll just drop it down somewhere like that. Now I think that looks cool. And I've now got a little bit of space for some type. So let's go and see if on the front cover we could do with a title. OK, so let's go and see if we can get some page text. And we'll zap that up to the top. I'll just click and drag on it and bring it up to the top. And then I'll put a title in. Let's say I want my York two thousand eighty. Okay, now it's in black, so I don't like that. So I'm going to swipe across it to select it, and then I'm going to go down to the type panel. And firstly, I'm going to change the color to white. I think that would look better. Yeah. And then I'm going to increase the size a little bit. I'll say something like that. And I'll try a different different font. Let's go for a one of my favorites is Bebas. We'll go for Bebas Noi. Yeah, I like that. OK. And I think big that looks big enough to me. But what I'd like is a uh, is my name on it as well. So I'm going to press the return key. And then I'll do by, and then we'll do me, my name. Okay, and now I think it would probably look better if it was right aligned. So I'm going to swipe across it all, and then down at the bottom of the type panel, I've got some alignment options. So I'll try the right align. And then I'll just click away just to see what that looks like. I think that doesn't look bad, but what I think I'll do is I'll just make the by and the Ken Fisher a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to highlight it and then just drag the size slider down a little bit. And what I might do is put another space in and I might like to try and just make that text a little bit smaller. Whoa. OK. No, I like that. And maybe just take it up just a little bit. Something like that. Just click to the side. Yeah, I'm quite liking that. That's OK. And then on the back page, I can do the same. You can be as creative as you like. I've got a text field here. And I'm just going to click in it and then right click. And I've got some text on the pasteboard that I just pasted from um, a website. And again, it's all in black, so I'll highlight it. And I'll change, oops, didn't highlight. I'll highlight it. And then I'll change the character color to white. And it wants to be a little bit bigger. So let's get the size slider and take it that way a little bit. 
something like that I think looks quite yeah I'm liking that okay I'll just click away so I can have a look hmm okay I mean I could put the ISBN numbers or whatever I want on it um, but I'm, I'm quite liking where I've come to and, and having a two-page spread so if you get the right image it can look quite imposing so if, if we do look back now We'll look on that there we've got us front and us back cover all finished with our text on with my name on and a title well that's it for a custom front and back page i do hope you found that useful if you did please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment under the video and if you get a minute please click that subscribe button and help me grow my photoshop learning community i'll see you in the very next video bye for now